Hi guys, welcome back and yes, it has been a very hot minute. So obviously summer is coming to a close very soon. It is the almost the end of July right now. So I'm finally getting less hours. I know that kind of sounds weird. You think I'd want more hours because I, I do work two jobs and I really need the money, but I just really enjoy having more time off just so I can do like literally any single thing I want to do, which is mainly film and read and draw and listen to music and binge watch shows and be a bum. Yeah. But anyways, so currently Currently, I did get a package in the mail, which I'm very excited to unbox. They are some school supplies, so I think this might be like a small little mini back to school supplies little haul. I wanted to do like a big one, kind of really, but I obviously, I don't know. I just felt like I should just do it in mini parts because I feel like I'm not going to get that many school supplies just because I have some rollover from last semester. And if I'm talking fast, I'm sorry. I get really nervous when I'm on camera. Like, I just can't. I just can't help it. <laughs> so I think I'm going to do my little unboxing right now or unbagging whatever it's called okay honestly holding my little tripod in my hand for literally i think it's been five minutes that was hurting me so bad i am so weak but i lift heavy stuff and that really like just made my arm sore i'm such a baby oh and if it looks different in a way it's because i got rid of my vanity well i didn't really get rid of it but i just i had my parents i asked them if they could like break it down and screw it and they put it in a box and they put it away for like later if I ever have a daughter I'm gonna give it to her so yeah it is like spacious now and I'm pretty happy about it and I'm also sitting on my knees because my chair is too tall and I don't feel like getting my big shy bun to set you guys on there but yeah I mean it is what it is and then this big box right here, I guess I should just tell you right now, it's another bookshelf and I'm pretty excited I was gonna buy the, I was gonna buy a second bush, bush Bush. I feel like that's food. Bush. Do you guys watch Chopped? Bush. I think that's a food thing on there. Anyway. Anyway. I lost my train of thought. So I was going to buy the same bookshelf. I got it from Target. Obviously, Target is where literally everybody goes, even though it's so stupidly expensive. I prefer Walmart. Actually, no, I prefer H&B. Anyway, aside from the rambling, yeah, so I got a bookshelf. It does not look like this bookshelf that I have right now. I got this bookshelf. It is six foot tall, and I'm pretty excited to get it built, but I need my dad's help because they are his tools, and I am a shitty person when it comes to working on tools, and yeah, I can only do a power drill, and that's and a screw and a hammer. And I think that's pretty much it. I'm pretty useless with that stuff. <laughs> so I ordered my school supplies from jetpins.com and what it is it's like a little japanese stationery store and yeah it's really cute stuff that you can't really find in the u.s you do have to order through there you could find maybe other websites this is not spawned by the way i love jet pins truly from my heart i've ordered them several times before and i'm never disappointed so yeah i got it from fedex i did block out my name and address and all that stuff because i don't want to be stuck yeah so i think i need scissors or actually do i need scissors i think i don't need, i don't need scissors Actually, this is the first time I've ever gotten it in a bag. I usually get them in a box, which is pretty weird. Honestly, I'm hoping they didn't ship everything separate. That'd be really annoying and weird. That looks so much better, I think, honestly. I'm sorry, look at myself. I don't know why I feel good about myself today. Usually I don't really feel appearance-wise really good about myself, but I'm wearing some makeup today and I'm feeling myself. Yeah, anyway, so what I did order, I'm hoping everything's in here, please. Please. Okay, cool. It looks like everything is in here, and then yeah, that's just trash FedEx. Anyway, so it does come bubble wrapped and everything. I know that for sure. I did get, I think it was seven items. It tells you like how many items you got and whatever, but yeah. So it's safely wrapped in bubble wrap, and I'm gonna get scissors, guys. I need scissors. So I lost my big girl scissors, so I like borrowed my mom's like kid scissors that were once my brother's scissors, and now they are my scissors. Okay, so. Okay, it's just like the bubble wrap has this annoying tape on it. it just... Awesome. So I guess I'll just do the big stuff, which is literally the two exact same items that I've got. So, no, I think I'll do small. The small ones are like very easy. So in this first little baggie, they did put it in a little cute like Ziploc baggie. I thought that's adorable. That's actually super cute. And yeah, so in this little thingy, I do like to draw. I do prefer using colored lead, erasable color lead pencils, mainly because I'm left-handed and regular pencils smears. And then I don't really ink because I suck at eating. Suck at eating? No, I suck at inking, so I never really ink. So I just leave it in the colored pencil and then I walk away. Yeah. So I needed more lime green. It's not, mm. Okay, I won't focus, but you can kind of see the blurry greenness. It is like a, uh, it's like a grassy green, I would say. And I just really needed this one. I do have other, I have like five, seven other colors, I think. 
I just really wanted a backup because I only have one little bit of green left. So that was necessary, not for school, but I mean. And then I also got the Boxy Charm eraser. So this is the Boxy Charm. Boxy No, not Boxy Charm. This is not makeup. And it is a boxy. Oh, I call it the box eraser. It's usually what it's called, but I guess the boxy eraser. And I got it because it's very pop. Oh man, I'm on a focus. Okay, I'm gonna have to restart that. Um, and my feet are hurting too because I'm on my feet. Okay, um, it's the boxy. So it's the boxy eraser, and I heard good things about it mainly because it's like really, well, not really small, but like kind of small, so you can get like really in the details. I really need this for like ears and eyes and not really mouth, well, like a little bit of mouth. Anyway, so yeah, I needed it for that really those. I need. I'm stuttering. So I really needed it for those little details and yeah, I wanted to give it a try. I like the black erasers, like so you can see it getting dirty. I do also, oh, I'm gonna show you in just a moment. I have another version of this, and oh, now you focus faster. So this is the Ein black eraser. I do have the white one and I really love the white one because literally guys, it barely like makes that shedding stuff, but like, usually like, the cheap erasers from whatever the Walmart dollar store I have, but this one like makes them stick together and clump, and it's like less erasing sh shavings, erasing shavings, eraser shavings, whatever. Yeah, so I want the black one because I love the white one, but the white one I broke it, so like, I get tore, and I was like, oh, it sucks. And I, I, it still works, but I just really want to try the black one because I thought the black one was really cute and cool. Anyway, so and then I did get three pins. Two of these I already do own because I love them. Obviously, I bought them in a pack, and they are the Sarasa Clip pins. They look so good. And I got these in 0.5. I'm not a big fan of 0.7 or anything smaller than 0.5. They don't say color names, but I I did get a black, black blue, which is just navy. And I got this like fuchsia pink color. I did buy them in a set of like, I think it was 10 or 8. And it came with like obviously one color of every other rainbow. Like it even came with a yellow. And the yellow's okay, like it's a nice dark yellow. But it's just yellow, so I'm not gonna use it that much. But anyway, I really hi highly recommend these pens, guys. They work really good. And then I think that's this part. I took me the longest time to realize it goes like that. Like I didn't even know that, and I was just like struggling the most when I was trying to like loop them on a the paper, and I was like, I feel so retarded. Anyway, yeah. So they're really good. Highly, highly recommend these guys. Honestly, they are just the best pens ever. They write so soft. They come in literally. I think it's like. 40 different colors if I'm not mistaken like literally there's so many shades of red pink orange blue purple black brown literally everything even a white pen too and milky oh my camera are you dying okay I thought my camera was about to die but it was just like yo you've been recording for so long and then the last two things I got are some things that I just got into like a year ago I think Anyway, so being left-handed, you do also have to deal with like when you're when you guys are writing, you know the feeling of when like. <laughs> anyway, the spiral rings. You guys know they just hurt when you're resting your hands on it and you're trying to write, and it just really sucks. So I discovered this on Chet pens. They are literally spirals made for left-handed people, and they do come in graph paper, college ruled size, and blank. But I like the college ruled one because it also has dotted lines. And let me get closer so you guys can see that. So it does come with the lines and the dots, and I really like that, especially when I'm doing like arrows or diagrams or whatever. I can always make sure they're going in the right way, they're not like really going off and over. So yeah, they're just really great for helping me keep straight lines. And they also have like these soft rings on here. Like, they're like little nubs. You can't really feel them when you're writing, like you don't even notice them honestly. And it's like, ugh, highly recommend. So anyway, that was the end of my little mini back to school haul. Okay. So I don't know what else to do today. It is currently it is currently 3.57 and I don't go to work until 9, so I don't know what else to do. So I don't want to watch Netflix because I've been binging, re-watching shows. If you guys like the Vampire Diaries, you know what I'm talking about. Like it's just like so irresistible. I might film a makeup tour. I'm looking at my makeup right now, I'm sorry guys. I think I might do like a little makeup tour. I don't have a lot of makeup, but I do like watching other people's makeup. Ooh, actually maybe a travel makeup bag. I'm thinking of doing that. I don't know. <laughs>